let me ask you a question. In your marriage or in your relationship, when you call each other, what do you call each other? It just, is it just the, the names that you have, whether it's Sheila or Jack or it's John or it's Nancy? And those names are great. The reason I ask this is that when we develop a relationship that has become close and we have become more than just the friends we used to be, something kicks in that's actually quite cute. A story is told of a man who'd been married for about 60 years. And as he was talking with his wife at a wedding where they were, he kept calling her these names. He would say, sweetie, would you please get me some water? Pumpkin, would you come and sit next to me? Honey, uh, you know, do you remember this? And there was a young man who was sitting there listening to the conversation and he was fascinated. This man, they've been married for 60 years and he still calls her these wonderful names. So when the wife got up to go to the toilet, this young man approached the old man and said to, said to him, hey, you, you keep calling your wife these beautiful names. What makes you continue to do that for so many years? The old man looked at this young man, leaned in close and said to him, I actually forgot her name 10 years ago. So I just say those names so that I get away with it. <laughs> My point though is this, you feel loved. You are so endeared when somebody calls you that pet name. And it's something that's actually a beautiful technique within a marriage and a relationship to keep those techniques going. When somebody says to you, sweetie, how's your day? You know that they, they think of you as somebody that makes their life enjoyable. Even if they're going to ask you something that's difficult, maybe if you're having an argument or you're having a fight, just the way that you refer to that person, whether it is in, 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 in a tone that's very militant, but the fact that you call them pumpkin and you say, pumpkin, I'm not very happy about the amount of money you spent this afternoon. Their response is going to be different because of that name or that, that attachment that you still have with them, you're upset, but you're still trying to communicate that I still love you, that you're still my one and only. And as marriages grow older, sometimes we lose that attachment. We lose that uh, endearment to call each other those beautiful and those lovely names. And I want to leave something with you today to say, don't be afraid to continue. Even in the days when the seasons are not as kind and the both of you are maybe not agreeing on something, maintain that approach of calling him or her in that endearing name, the name that reminds them that you are still somebody that that you regard well, you, you still want to spend time with them, you still want to love them, you still think of them in these wonderful and endearing terms. So remember, call them that beautiful name, sweetheart, honey, pumpkin, uh, cupcake, teddy bear, whatever it is, that special name. What is your special pet name with your partner, with your wife or with your husband? And if you'd stopped calling them that name, today, why don't you surprise them? Look them in the eye and say, hey, you know something, cupcake? I miss you.